What's good, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's that girl. It's me on a walk. You already know. Do something for me. Do something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Subscribe. Subscribe. Because, you know, this channel is lit over here. Okay, guys. So today, I'm basically going to be reviewing, as you can tell by the title, some lip glosses by Makeup by Mario. And I'm smiling already because, I'm not gonna lie, I tried it. And I, but some of them, I didn't see how it looked on me yet. But um, that's what we that's what we here for. We're about to see if it's a it's a go or it's not a go. Um, I actually tried on probably like two of the shades, and that is caramel and mulberry. But um, for the video purposes, I'm not really gonna speak about it yet until afterwards. So yeah, tune in. First shade that we have right here, I have. Okay, so let me let me speak about how many shades I have. I have five shades. And I'm a, I, I'm sorry. Let me just let me just say like I really do like these lip glosses. That's why I'm so excited. If I didn't really care or if I didn't know what it was, if it was like underwhelming, I probably wouldn't have been this excited. But I am excited because I've tried a few and I'm not disappointed. But I'm gonna show you guys how they look and then talk about how they feel. First shade that I have here is caramel, and it comes in a very small tube. I will not lie. I feel like how many ounces it's 0.11 ounces it's not a lot y'all it's not but I like it and it's you know it looks cute so um I did have to wipe off my lip combo so um, let me go ahead and get my mirror actually give me one second so first things first Gorgeous. I like the I like the shade because it definitely matches my complexion and also the feel of the lip glosses are phenomenal. Like it's tingly, but it's also really, really hydrating and it's giving like so before I had on lip gloss, I, well not lip gloss, chapstick as you guys can tell, but now it feels like super, super, super hydrated from how it initially felt. It's really, really hydrating. So that's one thing I really do love about these lip glosses, y'all. And look at this. This is super, super pigmented. This is not like, and I use, and one thing I will say is it might be small. Shit, I almost fell. <laughs> I almost dropped it. But it might be small, but you get a lot of the product on one use. And it's extremely extremely pigmented i won't lie they kind of do remind me of the nyx lip glosses the butter glosses but i feel like these feel better and it's way more pigment when you first use it so that's one thing i feel like this one does have on like you know on top of nyx but if you don't want to use if you don't want to buy these which are 20 i believe they're retailed for 23 dollars but i did get a few of them on sale and then one of them i think i bought full price but they are more on the price side especially for a little bit of product but if you do want something more affordable you definitely can probably use you can find a dupe from nyx next shade that i'm going to be using is baby coral and it is this beautiful peach color i love the packaging on the outside i love the color but the thing with this is i'm probably going to pair it up with a chapstick because i'm not going to lie to you i mean it's not a chapstick i'm a chapstick Oh my god, I can't even speak. I'm probably going to pair this up with a lip pencil because the shade is a little bit bright. I'm going to show you guys right now. So, it's very, like, peachy. Like, very, very peachy. So, that's my reasoning behind pairing it up with a lip pencil because I don't really... Actually, let me show you guys what it looks like if I didn't use a lip liner and then what it looks like when I do use a lip liner. Okay, so it's not as bad. Don't get me wrong. It's not as bad, but it's out of it's more out of my comfort zone and I feel like it's a little bit more it is it's not that it's washing me out, it's just too bright for me and I prefer a brown lip liner. Well, this lip liner in particular has like a reddish undertone, so I'm just going to use this one to kind of you know 
fix it. Okay, so this is baby coral, and as you can tell, it is a little bit more, you know, my preference, you know, as in terms of like pairing it up with a lip liner. It is not, this is probably not the lip line. This is actually the first time I paired it up with this lip liner. And this lip, like I said before, it does have a reddish undertone, the brown. But I usually would use this with like a warm light brown. So this is actually new to me and it's pretty cute to me. So this is what baby coral looks like. And it is pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. So the next shade that I'm gonna be using is Mulberry and it is this deep plum color. And I'm gonna show you this before I even say anything about it. So this is Mulberry and as you guys can see, I am obsessed. So one thing I will say is that one, I really used to, as a like teenager, I used to love dark lips, like burgundy lips, dark purple, all of that, like, I was obsessed with it but then as I got a little older I kind of felt like the color started to make me look a little bit more older and obviously that's what I'm kind of like trying to get away from I don't obvious I'm, I'm young obviously but like I still don't want to look older than I am so but this thing this lip gloss in particular is so nice and I never feel like I look older like that's the one thing I love about it it is a deep plum color and it is absolutely gorgeous and as you guys can see i got all of this product just off of one use i didn't have to reapply it i didn't have to get more product from the from the container it's just this is it and this is why i fell in love with it because i was scared i didn't know if it was gonna look this good but it don't look mad good like look at this color i'm not gonna lie to you guys this is definitely my favorite because you see, I I went and I was kind of shying away from like the bold looks and I was going for like the neutrals and stuff, but nah, this this has got a nice place in my heart because I've been like shying away from dark colors for years now and then now just like kind of put me back into that category and especially with a gloss I don't do glossy dark looks so this is like definitely different for me okay so the next shade that I'm going to be wearing is the shade Miss Rose right here and this one is kind of similar to the Praline NYX Butter, NYX Butter Gloss and that's why I really wanted this one. But a lot of people, like when I seen it on people, I was just like, this one is kind of cute. So I'm gonna try this one right now. So immediately, yes. <laughs> and I will say it definitely is way more pigmented than the NYX Butter Gloss. So I'm gonna say that again because it reminded me of it. Yes, it does, but it's not as pigmented as this one is and just literally one swipe you get all this product so yes it might be really small but i will say that you get a run for your money like it's a lot of product in here so just just on the wand alone is a lot of product so this is gorgeous see and this is usually with these kind of glosses i would always do a lip liner like always like a brown dark lip liner just to make it look I feel like it would look even just more gorgeous if I did it but alone the fact that I can do these alone and feel comfortable with it this has been like I haven't felt like this in a while like I would not be able to wear glosses alone unless it had like a brownish undertone or maybe like a caramel undertone so that's this is why I really like these lip glosses because just alone it looks amazing to me. Like, look at this. Look at this. So the last shade that I'm gonna be using is Spice. And let me just show you guys this right here. So this is more of a deeper brown than caramel. It is similar, but it's not exactly similar because this one is obviously deeper. But I'm excited to try this one on because I was hesitant. I didn't know whether or not I wanted to use it because I don't, like I said, I've been like so scared of dark colors for a while. So let's see how it looks. <sighs> yeah. 10 out of 10. This just makes me want to get the darker. So I think that one was like 
mocha raisin or something like that. And this just makes me want to get the darker one because this is popping. Like you definitely getting some ultra spice with this. This is so nice. This is actually my first time trying on Miss Rose and Spice. The other ones I probably used already, but these are actual, like, real authentic, like, reactions. Because this, super nice, super gorgeous, super hydrating. Like, one thing I will say to you guys is that even though, like, I've been using this hard-ass paper to wipe these, these bombs off, my lips don't feel dry like they don't hurt they don't feel weird like i mean the paper i've been like rubbing a little hard so you know i feel like a little something something but that's just from my own self because i could have used something else to like not make my lips feel like i just been like wiping and reapplying but it feels amazing like every gloss and not once did i have to use a lip like a a chapstick not once. I didn't have to use it once. And usually with like lip glosses, I would have to re put that on first and then put on the lip glosses. But no, with this, you get all of that in one. So that's like something that I favor the most about these glosses because they, I feel like you could just feel like you could wear them alone. Like usually I, like before any of my lip combos or anything that I put on my lip, I make sure that I put on some chap stick but no this one alone just has that tingly hydrating feel they feel so buttery i'm actually gonna try to put caramel in the middle because i've seen someone do that but this alone just looks gorgeous like i'm shook because i'm obsessed with every single one of them like <sighs> all right so this is spice and caramel side by side See, what this is, I would do, it looks, it looks very nice, but you can't see it too, too much just because I put like all of it on, like all around my lip. I put spice first, but I didn't leave like the center, you know, empty. So I think that if I was to wipe off the product in the middle and then reapply caramel you would see it more but i can see it way more in the mirror so it definitely is giving like a nice little transition just a slight transition but definitely given i don't want to take this off this is cute you see i had a different lip color i'm i'm not gonna lie i might might do miss rose instead of spice but i kind of want to do spice What's going on? I really do kind of want to do spice. I'm obsessed with these. If you're hesitant, don't be hesitant. At least buy one. One. Because I wasn't going to get, I probably was just going to get one, but then I ended up getting five. <laughs> so that tells you a lot about these glosses and how they look and feel. Like, yes, I will say go for the, pra go for the, um, not the praline, the praline, yes, that's the shade, but go for the NYX Butter Glosses if you are just want to be a little bit more cost effective but if you are like a makeup fanatic and you want something that's really good quality and you get a lot of product and it's just not a lot of product in per se like in in you know per ounces or whatever but you just you don't have to use a lot so that i feel like that's pretty much worth the 23 dollars also sephora o's is gonna have their their quad pays like you always gonna have your options to pay for so i mean hello you know you feel me like i'm not trying to influence you to do stuff but i'm gonna influence you because i think it's worth it to be honest hope you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to like share and subscribe and don't forget to go ahead to your local sephora and pop them little baddies in your bag and purchase that because they they definitely pop and like i i think that i don't think there's any shade that i'm missing out on i don't think there's any shade that i really was feeling for but i will say that they all look amazing like i really love every single one of them so like go ahead and get it because it's worth it you know what i mean like i don't know how many times i'm gonna say it but it's really really worth it so yeah um, I'm going to go and I'll catch you guys in the next video.